G'day YouTube, 1MJ here. Welcome back to my channel. Well, it is Tuesday afternoon here in Australia, so sort of, you know, getting close to Tuesday morning in the States, and Bitcoin has held. The market is up, only ever so slightly though, so 350 billion, but you can have a look at that seven day pattern, and it is just slowly, slowly creeping up, and we're getting sort of close to those uh, last highs. So let's go over and have a look at the market, the chart that I did. And I put this up on Twitter not just too long ago, so if you want to follow me on Twitter, go down into uh, the section below the video and you'll see uh, my Twitter handle there. But look at this, it's just been coiling. Now we haven't broken below this sort of shorter trend line and we haven't broken below this major trend line for a little while either. But we can see this really short time frame here. We've technically just broken it. Now the day uh, isn't sort of uh, over because this is generally based off the states. So the day's just begun, but you can see we're on the outside of this short term trend line. So we've just got to wait and see. It wouldn't surprise me if this rolls over and falls back into this uh, triangle here. But I am sort of, you know, I'm suspecting that this is going to hold and we're going to sort of slowly but surely start to travel sideways and then we're probably going to make a fairly quick move to get back up to this sort of $12,000 range. I could be wrong, we'll wait and see, but either way we have broken to the upside at the moment. We've just got to wait and see where this daily candle closes. But you can see this has just been pushing up for quite some time now. Now we had a bit this big sell off sort of about a fortnight ago, people panicked, then it pumped up and it sold off again, people panicked and then it pumped up and sort of sold off again and people still panicked a little bit, you know, there's people still obviously selling Bitcoin here. Uh, I'm not selling Bitcoin. Uh, yeah, I haven't bought any uh, this week uh, as my, you know, usual sort of DCA. I've just been waiting to see what happens and I am waiting to see what happens here. Because again, I wouldn't be suspicious if we didn't roll over and kind of sell and maybe come down and test this $10,300 mark, you know, or even that's still roughly sort of 10,300. We may fall back down sort of for one sort of more low. It won't be a, a lower low than these uh, trend lines here, I don't believe, but we might fall back into this triangle. So I'll just wait and have a see what happens. But if we don't, uh, I honestly think we're gonna come up and test this again uh, in the not too distant future. I think there's gonna be uh, something like this uh, coming fairly shortly and we could even see something like this uh, to pump us up to again around that kind of $12,500 mark. We'll just have to wait and see. Quickly go over here, there have been a couple of movers in the last 24 hours though, so Monero, uh, it's been doing reasonably well Monero. Uh, Zcash, there you go, I haven't uh, heard much of Zcash but it has done you know nearly 20% in the last seven days, so well done to them. Uh, maker a little bit of, mo of a move nothing major in the last sort of 24 hours and you know a couple of all right movers in the seven days but let's have a look at the losses so uniswap just continues to slide and slide and slide uh, and unfortunately likewise uh, synthetics network um, that's a bit of a shame but anyway synthetics network had such a good pump i will be keeping an eye on synthetics network for when it starts to level out uh, and i may buy back in but I mean, I bought in at under a, a dollar. I was buying in at around about sort of 84 US cents is where I bought a fairly good uh, position of mine. So I don't know if I'd want to buy it, yeah, anywhere near the price it is at the moment. It's not that I don't believe in Synthetics Network. I just have to wait and see uh, if the slides are going to continue. Uh, when I see a trend reversal, that's when I'll have a look. It's not that I wouldn't buy Synthetics Network uh, at prices above a dollar. I absolutely would, but I don't want to be buying at $2 if it slides all the way back to a dollar. We'll have to wait and see. So some movers, uh, some losers, but nothing really too great. Obviously, Synthetics Network and Uniswap, these are ones in the top 100. They have pulled back, but they had massive gains. We've got to remember that. Uh, this was up sort of around $7, so it's retraced about 50% of that. Uh, and you know Uniswap had that massive pump uh, and has slightly pulled back. Um, so anyway, we'll move on to some interesting stories that I found. So here's one, DeFi index crashed despite strong fundamentals. So basically there was aggregates of a whole stack of uh, 
DeFi projects you can invest in. So Synthetics had one going as well uh, and Binance had one going. And we can see that on August 28th, Binance Futures lost its DeFi Composite Index, a basket of DeFi tokens that initially compromised 27% Chainlink, 11% AVE, alongside with nine other prominent DeFi tokens that made up between 6 and 9.5% of the index. Now, it has dropped more than 50% from all-time highs. So it was $1,189 on its first day of trading, with the basket now changing hands for $507. I was invested, or not was, I still am invested in something like this on Synthetics Network. Uh, it was their uh, iDefi, no, not iDefi, SDefi or something like that. I can't remember. I haven't used it for a while because the ETH prices have been killing me. But it'll be interesting. I'll have to get back in because uh, it might be another good time to sort of buy. I don't think DeFi is dead by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, it's just waiting for everything to sort of, you know, rebalance itself from all these large highs. So this will be interesting to keep... Um, Keep, keep an eye on if this is the kind of thing you're into. Uh, now, I don't use Binance as one. Uh, I may in the future. We'll have to have a look. I've used, um, yeah, I've, I've used the one from Synthetics Network, but those gas fees have been killing me, and I'm pretty sure uh, Binance don't have very high gas fees at all. They're quite low. So this is something I might have to have a look at. But interestingly enough, so DeFi index have crashed, but... MetaMask hits 1 million monthly users thanks to the DeFi boom. So almost in contradiction, but not quite. It's just the indexes. So that's just the price of uh, the DeFi you know, platforms readjusting from their big pump. But people are still into DeFi. And a lot of the DeFi at the moment is more the stable coins though. So a lot of stable coins are being put into uh, DeFi platforms at the moment and Yearn Finance does have a new one coming out and we'll have a quick look at that a little bit later but yeah the indexes and so the platforms themselves they've taken a bit of a hit and the prices have uh, dropped but stable coins within uh, DeFi programs they're still doing pretty well Curve Finance and Yearn Finance and things like that so yeah slight contradictory that you know DeFi indexes are down but uh, DeFi use is up and it's mainly the stable coins that are really kind of doing well at the moment. And that's because people are unsure in the market. Hence why the prices of some things have been going down. But again, we go back to here. Bitcoin has just been coiling. And so that's an unsure market. And people are waiting to see what happens before they start to get back in. They're waiting for a trend. Um, not so much a trend reversal. It's waiting for a trend to make itself known because at the moment it's just up and down. It's sort of all over the place. It's either going to break to the upside or to the downside. And that's what people are waiting for. All right, another one, another good story. So SEC brings John McAfee to court over ICO promotion. So back in 2017, I think even a little bit of 2018, uh, John McAfee was, you know, spruiking all sorts of uh, ICOs, uh, and he was just shilling them. He wasn't truly invested in any of them, and he's even come out and said that. He was just paid, you know, a Bitcoin, two Bitcoin, whatever it was, and he'd shill just about anything. Uh, and a number of them uh, were, yeah, they were basically sort of scam exit coins in the end. So looks like he might uh, have an interesting time ahead of him, but uh, I'm not sure where he is at the moment and whether they've actually arrested him. It may be just, you know, uh, a notice for him to appear and whether he does or not will be pretty interesting he's a pretty out there kind of dude uh does like his drugs uh and women <laughs> and look you know i'm all for the women part you know the drugs part uh not so much that's not really my thing but it'll be interesting to see what happens and whether he's made an example of uh, you know, it's not so much that I want him to be made an example of, but we definitely need to have better regulation in this place in regards to that kind of stuff. You can't just be, you know, shilling stuff, uh, particularly when you're a, uh, a, you know, somewhat of a celebrity uh, and, you know, having people have their money scammed. I mean, he did start up his own uh, Dex uh, and basically... Uh, he said that it, none of it would be uh, KYC. It would be completely KYC uh, free. Uh, and that really had people worried. He was like, you know, if, if it's a good coin, it'll succeed. And if it's a scam coin, then it was basically the person who invested in its problem for not doing their own research and all the rest of it. So I haven't gone anywhere near that Dex. And I'm not even sure what's happened if it's still out there. But I do remember him saying that. All right, here's another good story. Bitcoin to 100K in 2025, says Bloomberg. 
So they've made a couple of uh, you know predictions about the crypto industry and things like that. But what I found uh, was pretty interesting in this one. So in the latest Bloomberg crypto newsletter, analyst Mike McGlone points out that Bitcoin has a tendency of adding zeros to its price, adding that the that adding that the asset previously went from a thousand dollars to ten thousand dollars in under four years. So that's a pretty good move. This trend has been somewhat de uh, decelerated by the maturation of the asset, but it has by no means stopped McLone. Say stopped. McLone says adding that it could soar again, but perhaps the time horizon will be longer. If the crypto echoes its past gains with some maturation, about double the time period it took to add a zero from one thousand could get its price to ten thousand uh, in twenty twenty five. Uh, sorry, from one thousand could get its price to a hundred thousand in twenty twenty five. So a lot of people are predicting that you know its new all time high will be somewhere between a hundred thousand and you know two hundred and fifty thousand, and they think it will happen in sort of twenty twenty one, maybe twenty twenty two. Bloomberg Bloomberg is saying maybe it's going to take till twenty twenty five. A bold prediction, perhaps, but it's actually pretty conservative compared to other forecasts that are viewed as credible in the world of crypto. Silicon Valley Bit, uh, Bitcoin advocate Tim Draper, who predicted that the top crypto would pass $10,000 in 2017 and it got to $20,000, believes it will reach $250,000 by the end of 2022 or 2023. So he's been around in the space for a while. Uh, and yeah, he was... It was a little bit under the mark, I guess. It was twice as much in 2017. Uh, so he's saying 250,000. So he may have, you know, upped his thing to match his sort of underwhelmed prediction in 2017. So I I'm not sure. Look, I definitely think it's going to hit around about 100,000 sometime uh, in the next sort of few years, whether it goes well over uh, 100,000 or maybe even goes under 100,000. You know, if it roughly 10 x from uh, the halving, it was around about sort of 8,000, you know, thereabouts. That means it gets to 80,000, you know, based on previous experience. But that's not to say uh, it can't go much higher. Max Kaiser has also come out uh, and is... Uh, adjusted his price targets with somewhere between a hundred thousand to four hundred thousand, and he believe uh, he believes is inevitable due to government money printing, uh, and that is something that needs to be taken into consideration. That you know, if they print to you know hyperinflation and all the rest of it, then a hundred thousand to four hundred thousand for Bitcoin uh, is completely possible. But that means everything else has been hyperinflated as well. So something to keep in mind. And Plan B also, he said that you know it could be at around about two hundred eighty-eight thousand uh, by next year. So interesting. We'll have to wait and see. All right, here we go. Nine trillion in stimulus injections uh, could see the pump of you know things like gold, uh, silver, and Bitcoin and things like that. But what I found interesting in this article was the dollar has lost considerable value since the introduction of the central bank in 1913. For instance, the cumulative rate of inflation since 1913 is around 2,525.4%. This means a product purchased for $1 in 1913 would cost $26.25 in October 2020. Precious metals and cryptocurrency proponents believe the central bank's pumping will bolster assets like Bitcoin and gold. Pantera Capital CEO Dan Moorhead explained in July that the company believes cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin will help people with the global economic outcome. The United Sprite, the United Sprites, sorry, the United States printed more money in June than in the first two centuries after its founding. Moorhead wrote in a letter to investors, last month the US budget deficit, $864 billion, was larger than the total debt incurred from 1976 through to the end of 1979. On the same day, Pantera Capital published the letter called Two Centuries of Debt in One Month. The 22-year-old 22-year congressional veteran Ron Paul told the public that America should be prepared. So hyperinflation, that's what a lot of people are worried about. And if hyperinflation happens, the price of everything's going up. So, you know, the price of Bitcoin being at, you know, let's say 400,000 sounds really, really good. But it means, it means, God, I'm really struggling today. Sorry. It means the price of everything will have skyrocketed. So 
while the 400,000 Bitcoin sounds good, if everything else costs, you know, 10 times as much as what, is, as what it does now, then, you know, that kind of levels it out a little bit. And, you know, it's, you know, it's true value based on today money wouldn't be 400,000. But we'll have to wait and see. Now, here's a really interesting one. So being Australian myself, uh, this was uh, interesting. I don't want to say it was funny, but for anyone who's thinking of stealing Bitcoin, beware. Brother jailed for stabbings over Bitcoin. So one brother, uh, now he's mentally ill, so we don't want to take too much from this, uh, stabbed and nearly killed his brother. He stabbed him nine times after he thought that his brother had stolen his Bitcoin. So, you know, things that will make people go crazy. Uh, children, partners, and money, i.e. slash Bitcoin. So anyone who's stealing Bitcoin, beware, because yeah, you may find yourself being stabbed and even by a family member. I shouldn't laugh at that, but uh, yeah, it, it is a little bit on the funny side, but yeah, not really. At least no one died, then it really wouldn't be funny at all. All right. A major investor has predicted Bitcoin will be worth more than a trillion in under 10 years. So that's the market cap. Not one Bitcoin will be worth a trillion, but the Bitcoin... Uh, complete market cap itself so bitcoin offers one of the most compelling risk reward profiles among assets as our analyst suggests it should scale from roughly 200 billion uh, to one to five trillion network capitalization during the next five to ten years so i mean bitcoin uh, market cap gets to five trillion in the next 10 years oh, i have no idea what that makes bitcoin worth but that would be amazing Arc Investment Management Management Analysis and Analysis Yasmin Elmadra. So hopefully I didn't butcher that, but I'm sure I did. Wrote in a report out last month, adding that investors shouldn't ignore Bitcoin as an asset class. Arc is best known for its wildly optimistic price target for Tesla. A bet that has somewhat paid off this year is the Tesla price increased fourfold. Bitcoin was by far the best performing asset of the last decade with its price increasing from almost zero to highs of around $20,000 per coin uh, late in 2017 before uh, falling back somewhat. But despite the massive run, ARK remains very bullish on Bitcoin. Our, anal analysis, our analysis suggests Bitcoin is early on its path to monetization with substantial uh, appreciational, appreciation potential. In our view, Bitcoin's $200 billion market capitalization or network value will scale more than order of magnitude uh, to the trillions during the next decade. So again, you know, if we get to $5 trillion market cap for Bitcoin alone, oh, I could not imagine what the price of Bitcoin would be worth. You know, I think that 100000 would be well and truly surpassed. And, you know, Tim Draper talking about 250000 and Max Kaiser talking about, you know, $400,000 Bitcoin. Well, if we're getting up towards $500 uh, $5 trillion, uh, $250,000 would be uh, well within the range, I would think. And even, you know, maybe a million dollar Bitcoin and, you know, plus. I have read stories of some people thinking that, you know, Bitcoin could be worth, you know, 10 million or 100 million, in, you know, in decades to come. So, yeah, with a $5 trillion Bitcoin market cap, be interesting to see what they think the price would be at that. All right, so crypto for Congress. Bitcoin is being sent to all Congress members. So this is pretty interesting. Uh, I didn't highlight it, that's right. So... The Crypto for Congress initiative has launched. All members of Congress will be given Bitcoin as campaign contributions to help them learn about cryptocurrencies. I think this is brilliant. Now, unfortunately, I think a majority of them will probably just sell it and won't understand it and they'll just take the money or just simply lose it because they just don't have the time to you know, look into it. But this is a good way to get them started. At least it'll get some who don't really know much about it interested and they'll at least have a look at it. They may still hate it, but I would say the chances are it'll you know, increase the exposure of cryptocurrencies and it'll have more people uh, in higher places at least uh, known and understanding about how it all works. And this will only add to adoption. So the Crypto Congress initiative has launched. The Chamber of Digital Commerce announced on Monday. Today, all members of the United States Congress will receive a campaign contribution in Bitcoin as part of this initiative. The announcement details uh, there are 535 members of Congress, 100 serve in the U.S. Senate and 435 in the House of Representatives. 
the chamber the chamber of digital commerce political action committee will provide a 50 dollars bitcoin contribution to all 535 members of congress so there you go they're all going to get 50 dollars in bitcoin they're obviously going to have a bitcoin wallet uh made from they will be given the you know the keys and all the rest of it so it'll be interesting to see what they do and whether you know a lot of them just sell it and you know some of them unfortunately will probably lose it uh and you know again whether this starts to lead to the real mass adoption uh that bitcoin really needs to you know be the world currency that some people talk about you know it's got a lot of scaling issues that it needs to sort out before that will ever happen but excuse me this is a good step in the right direction so i'm really happy to hear about this hopefully australia and other uh, governments get on board and do something similar now last but not least yearn finance so they're coming out with a a new sort of platform and basically it's going to be called uh, yfic so yearn finance connect is a decentralized token under the erc20 protocol that allows users to stake y FIC, borrow assets and vote for improvements in the community. So if you want to get involved, uh, the details are here. Again, you can go to bitcoin.com uh, and have a look. Uh, and they're going to airdrop some and only some tokens are going to go to uh, the team. And, you know, there's going to be some airdrops. So there's 50,000 that are going to be airdropped. Uh, so this is something interesting to have a look at. Uh, Yearn Finance has done pretty well. Now, the token... It, itself has come down i will go over here and we'll just refresh it's been on a bit of a downward slide for a while but uh, maybe it started to pump up again i think it's around about number 37 let's go down and have a look yearn finance where are we yearn finance so there we go it's on a steep decline at the moment but again everything's on a steep decline really there's only some things that have generally done well uh, over the last sort of few days and again this is just the last seven days so yearn finance is something that i'm going to be keeping an eye out for uh, i'll probably get into some yearn finance again once we see you know what's happening with the market once the trend changes because the trend has been you know on the downward slide for uh, a number of the altcoins for a while uh, bitcoin you know still over the last little while is on the downside but again you know it's starting to look like it's punching to the upside so something for everyone to uh, consider have a look at again nothing would i uh, talk about and say on here is financial advice this is just my story this is what i'm doing and my thoughts if you want to do the same uh you know make your own decision but don't uh, think that what i do is uh, financial advice i am not a financial advisor but i know a thing or two about the crypto space not everything i don't consider myself a genius or an oracle but i'm working through it like everybody else if you like if you enjoy my content please hit the like button down below i am trying to you know get um, my videos seen by more people and that really helps with the algorithm also please leave a comment down below if there's something you want me to cover uh, I can have a look at that. I generally just do market updates and things that I see, but I will start to do a few more reviews. I've done one or two. I did one on uh, Synthetics Network. I had a look at uh, the Carver, Carver Harvest IO that's coming out soon, uh, and I'll do some more follow-up ones as well. Well, anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hopefully you're on that gain train. There are some gains to be made there, and I'll see you next time.